Hello everyone, this is Michelle with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, NAODS.com, and welcome to Tuesdays with Michelle. We are going to be doing text on a circle, but before we get to that, I just wanted to make a few announcements. Um, I am going to be going to Phoenix in a few minutes here, so um, what I wanted to do though is quickly tell you about Creative Live, and I know most of you already know about this. I'm a huge supporter and a fan of Creative Live. I've been watching their free webinars and free um, live broadcasts for the last couple years and I'm going to be going there on December 12th, 13th and 14th. What you need to do is go to the link below and hit the enroll button and most of you have already done this. You do not need to buy it but if you do watch it and you want to buy it then you can purchase it later for you and, and you can watch it over and over again. However the first live appearance is going to be free. Another thing that people are asking is they are working during the day. So what they can do is they can log on in the evening and there will be a rebroadcast of it as well. I will be there on a Saturday, so most of you won't be working on Saturday. So Saturday the 14th, you'll want to make sure that you buzz in and, and watch it that day. And thank you all for supporting me, um, sharing my uh, Facebook um, entries and all of that. I really, really appreciate it. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video, is to thank you all personally for supporting me for the last few years, probably four or five years, and um, letting me do what I love to do. So let's go ahead. Actually, there's one other thing I wanted to say. We do have an upcoming free webinar for our members. If you bounce on over to uh, NAODS, N-A-O-D-S dot com, and click on Members Only Classes, you will be able to see that Karen um, from Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen is going to be teaching a class on December the 9th and um, it will be on advanced paper design so be sure to um, sign up for that if you are a member. For non-members it's only $15 so take a look at that. Alright let's go ahead and get started on this little uh, five minute video. It basically a lot of people have been asking me how do I do a um, text on a circle and it's really kind of straightforward, not really straightforward actually, um, but it's not too bad if you get the steps down correctly. If you don't get them down correctly, it can be very frustrating. So let me go ahead and just throw this layer away and start with a blank layer there. Um, I have this circle and I want to put text around it, but I don't want to put it on the circle itself. I need to have a little bit of a space in between. So if you go, this is version 12 and it, it's pretty similar with version 11 as well. Go ahead and get your horizontal type tool and you're going to see that you have other options down here. You've got the vertical type tool, the horizontal type mass tool, and so on and so forth. What we're going to be talking about is this one here. It's called text on a shape. But before I even go there, I'm going to pick my font that I want to use. So I'm just going to use Cooper and then I'm going to go ahead with black and probably around 29 points is good. I'm going to pick the color so if you click on this color um, icon right here. You can pick from the defaults or you can pick from this color swatch. So if you click on this bring up color picker to choose new color you can click on that and that's really cool because then you can pull a color from your actual photo itself. That's what I normally like to do because then it keeps that same look and feel. I'm also going to go ahead and pick this left align text. Now some people like the center but I'm going to do I don't know, may, actually you know what, I'm going to choose center text just because then I'm going to go back to my text on shape tool and I still have everything select uh, the same choices that I had before and I'm going to start from the very center of this button here I'm going to hold down my shift and alt key Oops. Look at this now. I'm kind of glad I made this little error. This is the rectangle. We're not going to put the text on a rectangle shape, but you could if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and control Z and I forgot to choose the draw ellipse. Okay, so right in here, you want to make sure you pick the right shape. I had the rectangle shape picked first. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick the, sh the circle. Okay, so I am going to select Shift and Alt, st start from the center, and then pull and drag. Now, if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal. It's not going to be perfect the first time around. Next, what I'm going to do is not on a separate layer yet, but once we get this little eye beam, See that little eye beam whenever I get really close to this? If I click one time, it's going to go ahead and start typing there. So I'm going to go ahead and put what I need to on that line. 
Let's see, Holland, Michigan. 2000, oops, 2013. All right, so basically when you start from the center, then it will probably be very, very close to being perfect. And notice over here on the right hand side, it's on its own layer. Then you can take your arrow keys and nudge them around to fit perfectly. Or you can just click and drag with your move tool and move it to the location that you need it to do. If you did not get it perfectly in the center, you can always rotate, oops, rotate it by taking one of the corner nodes and rotating it to your desired look and then nudging it into place. So a couple different ways that you can get that. You can rotate it. You can try to get it right in the center. Make sure you choose center. It's probably a lot easier than choosing left aligned or right aligned. And then if you wanted to, you can always change the color or change the size of the text by just clicking on it, highlighting it. Oops. Let's get, go back to the text tool. And you can highlight the text. Change the color if you want to, or if you had a typo, you can change it that way as well. Maybe I need to put a comma in there. Just go ahead and get that. Click. Now notice I did go back to my regular type tool to make the change. It's a lot easier that way. Hope you enjoyed this session, and I hope to see you in an upcoming class or inside the membership class on December 9th. Thanks, and have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.